Hello, I'm Stuart Bloor. I'm getting ready for a session. I'm sitting on the uh, edge of my car. Got the uh, boot up here and I'll talk you through just a few things while I get ready. I'm actually after a roach this evening, although that wasn't my original plan. I was going perch fishing and I loaded the car up, got everything I needed apart from some red maggots. So I uh, set off, pop into the tackle shop on the way, that's the plan and uh, unfortunately the tackle shop was shut so uh, not to be outdone I drove back home after my socks here, here they are drove back home and I pretty much got a lot of gear in that I was going to take anyway if I was roach fishing so just changed a few things over raided the uh, freezer at home my wife's freezer, not my bait freezer nicked some sweet corn changed a few bits and pieces and uh, set off again so I'm gonna have me a couple of hours up to dark and then into dark as well so that's the difference really between the session that I'd planned which was after perch up to dark and now I'm after roach I should be fishing into it well I'm looking forward to this I tried not to get too flustered you know you do sometimes when you sort of realize times at a premium and you're racing around and all that sort of stuff tried not to get flustered tried to keep calm kept calm and uh, really uh, going to enjoy this session tonight it's a wet afternoon very very damp typical of this time of the year really and as expected not many people on the lake in fact there's just one car and I've and I've seen a bivy set up on the far side so I guess that's uh, that's that taken care of which means I should uh, have most of the lake for myself sounds good doesn't it but I want to get amongst these these roach I'm here now at the lake it's my bucket as you can see in there a little bit of ingredients or a few ingredients should I say some uh, some wheat some ground wheat years ago when I was a kid a couple of years ago when I was a kid years ago when I was a, a child when I used to first got into angling and I used to read all the angling um, books and things at the time wheat was a, was a big thing for, for roach people used to fish with it on the hook, stewed wheat of course times have changed fashions have come and gone and uh, not quite so common these days but ground wheat what an ideal ingredient to put into your mix and I've also got some white crumb probably see that in there, yeah got some white crumb and then I've got some standard brown crumb to add to that and what I'm gonna do is I've got some uh, some dip there that's phase that's very popular with the carp anglers boilies dips pellets the whole range there but I'm gonna add a little bit of phase into the mix when I've put the water in from the lake it will give it a, a, a color it'll be it'll be red that's the color of phase but also it gives it a little bit of a label as well so when we think of dips boily dips obviously dip your boily in but also you can dip other baits in and why not add a little bit into your ground bait mix to give it that little bit of uh, an identity so that's my plan and then I've got some sweet corn still frozen just standard corn there from the, from the shop well straight from the freezer at home in, in my case and I'm going to fish a, a single grain over this mix with some grains of corn in there of course that's the plan for tonight I'm sure it'll work mix the stuff up as you can see there now I don't see the the red color I'll be putting some, uh, some balls of bait out really mixes well this this crumb does is the main constituent as you can see there a little bit of a tight ball that I'll I'll put in I want to get some down on the bottom because that's where I'm fishing with the uh, with a ledger and then I'll, I'll add a little bit of extra water to a few more so that there's a, a, a sort of a, um, a cloud falling gradually to the main bait on the bottom the main ground bait on the bottom so it will bring the fish in at all levels and then ultimately get them on the deck where I want them to be when you fish always remember that we're the ones in control doesn't seem like that sometimes but that's the approach that we should take not let the fish dictate to us but as much as possible try to bring the fish in to what we want them to do easier said than done but that's the plan I'm 
what I'm going to do here as well with the bait with the corn to give it an edge. There's the corn. I'm going to put in a little bit of phase there, as you can see. Mix it around so it's soaking. And so there will be a little added boost, a little incentive for the roach. I've already had one one bite. It was a lightning quick one, I missed it. Didn't uh, duck itself or anything like that. I missed the strike. There you go. 